The problem we left you with last time was all about designs like this one on my T-shirt. Now, this had been designed on a computer by a professional designer, Jonathan Inglis. And we asked you how you would use a computer to create your own personal designs or logos. Let's have a look at the progress at Crownwood Primary School. Right, so let's start by making a list of everything that you're interested in. What would be on your list of favourite things? Ready, personal computers. C O M P U T. Some of the children tried their hands at copying famous logos. Look how simple but eye-catching the best designs are. It's worth spending some time working your ideas out on paper. Remember, always keep your designs simple. I decided to um, do a fairground, but a big wheel though. When it's all printed, I'd like to have it printed on a T-shirt or tile. This is a design for a project about Egypt. Oh, I went to shape first to do the pyramid and triangles. Then I done palm tree. First you do dots, then you go to where you want it, and then it does a line and keep on doing it until you get the palm tree. Well, my surname's Adams, and as I like apples, I thought I'd make my surname and apples go together, so it was Adam's apple. I'm going to make it into a book cover. You can turn your design into a wooden table mat or transfer it to some tiles. Or how about making an interesting birthday card? Some of the simplest designs are the best. I thought it would be quite hard to put it on, but it didn't take as long as I thought it would take. You press the letters that you wanted on the keyboard and then you just put it in the square where you wanted it and you press the button and let that come up. This design is going to be transferred onto a T-shirt, but the printing method turns the picture over. So you need to start with what looks like a reflection in a mirror. With a computer programme like this one, the problem is easily solved. Blue background. Green. When you've finished your design on the computer, you can use it in all sorts of ways. If you want to print a T-shirt, for example, you have to make a photocopy of your design first. The transfer process is simple enough. The method is included in the teacher's notes. These children found that Xerox and Nashua photocopies work the best. How many ways can you think of to use your own designs? Maybe your class could make some cards, table mats or even printed t-shirts for the school open day. <laughs>